We come to you today from Adriana and Luke's living room with an important quest update. We found my birth mother, or rather, she found us. The whole identical twins reunited thing made the news last week, and we got an email from... Amelia, aka my birth mother, or our birth mother. She should be here any minute. God, how are you so chill? We're about to meet our birth mother for the first time. Let's get them some privacy. Are you sure? Please, film it. This is the story your videos are telling and you both deserve to hear it. I met your father when I was 18. I was waiting tables, saving money so I could go to school. He had come from Mexico and was studying art at the university here. When he needed to study late, he'd come in for a cup of coffee and, you know, that late it was slow and, and we'd talk. Some nights he would take a break from studying and he would sketch me. What was his name? Alejandro, but he mostly went by Alex. I named you after him. I still can't believe my parents, my adoptive parents, renamed me Alexis without knowing. It's like fate. Maybe it is. I would like to meet your parents, Alexis, and thank them for raising you. They'll be thrilled to meet you too. It was really our dad who got this whole search going. I would like to thank him for that, too. So back to the story. Alex and I were very young, and, and we fell hard for each other. It was Christmas time when I found out I was pregnant, and we were excited, but scared. My parents weren't very supportive, and we were barely making rent on a studio apartment. Um, I took a second job at a restaurant, and he did portrait commissions for cash. And then something went wrong with his visa, and he was suddenly deported. Just a few days after that, I found out I was having twins, and with only my income, I, I lost the apartment, and I, I ended up in a woman's shelter. You know, with, this was the 90s, and the internet barely existed. The landline was the only way that Alex knew how to get hold of me, and I lost that with the apartment. I, I knew where his family was from, but I just had no way of contacting them. I, I used any spare change I had trying to contact him, trying to find him, but I couldn't. I, I was alone and too pregnant to work more than I already was. How could I provide for my children. I didn't think I could give you a good life as a homeless mother, so I made the hardest decision of my life, giving you up. Um, there was a lady at the, at the shelter who helped me. I worked with an agency and they gave you to a wonderful family after you were born. I, I asked for a closed adoption and maybe that was selfish, but I thought a clean break would be better for everyone. They did ask me to name you Alexandra for your father and Philippa for the woman at the shelter. She was, she was such an inspiration to me. I'm the director at a Portland shelter now doing for other women what she did for me. That's so cool. My parents kept Philippa as my middle name. Mm -hmm. It means more hearing the story behind it. That's where my story ends. I'm hoping you can fill in the blanks after that. Yeah, the adoption fell through. We're not sure why exactly, but we were split up after that. I ended up with my parents, the Seymours, and I stayed in foster care. I wish I'd known. Can I, can I ask why you didn't ever look for us? For the same reason I asked for a close ad adoption, I thought it would disrupt your lives if I showed up. I'm sorry if that was a bad decision, but I 
I have thought about you both every day. I know it's too late to be a mother, but I would love to be in your life in some way if you'd let me. We're together now, and that's what matters.